Before COVID, there was uh, obviously a huge amount of um, illegal uh, migration from uh, North Africa into Europe. Um, what are the kind of the prospects for that being kind of mitigated, especially with the threat to so many uh, Africa uh, jobs in Africa, sub-Saharan Africa as well? Well, actually, COVID is 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 uh, is creating a much greater impetus for migration. I, I think the first wave right. would be economic migrants. So, as Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco are beginning to uh, feel the pain of. Yeah no tourism, manufacturing, exports to Europe declining, you're going to have uh, a lot more uh, incentive among uh, young unemployed people to try to migrate to Europe. And particularly in the case of uh, North Africans with, uh, in France, Spain, Belgium, uh, Netherlands, there already ne exist networks that they, they can rely on. They have cousins, uncles, et cetera, mm -hmm. that, that will, will probably, uh, uh, be, begin to, uh, uh, you know, go to. Now, the question is, what would the Europeans do about this? Mm, yeah. I don't think it's on their radar now. And then the second wave is that if you actually have political conflict in the region, let's say a regime collapses, yeah. you have civil war, you have regional war, you have mm -hmm. escalation of existing conflicts, whether they will actually end up producing much larger number of migrants. Now, you know, one of the I think mega themes for now is that, you know, the conflicts of yesterday, uh, sorry, the threats of yesterday still exist, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, the way, uh, let's say, uh, uh, UAE or uh, GCC countries view Iran or, uh, they, they, uh, or the United States views China. But in reality, the, the larger threat to everybody is the pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, more than any particular country. Uh, because, uh, and, and migration is a very good case. Uh, the pandemic has the potential of creating large waves of, of population movements even within the Middle East. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's say countries that, that deal with COVID well at the beginning mm -hmm. and actually have a more of a viable economy will become target for migrants from countries in which the economy is basically hopeless, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, and, and the largest players in the region, the ones with a lot of excess, excess uh, labor are the ones that are right now economically most in danger. Of course, yeah. Uh, so you look at Egypt, Algeria, uh, Morocco, uh, you know, Iran, uh, Jordan, and, and you would say that if the economy continues to, to decline in these places, that you're going to begin to have a displaced populations even within the region. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. destabilizing. Course, that yeah. can be a source of new conflicts in places that we don't even anticipate. And then on top of that is that where does this population go if it begins to migrate out of the region? And, I get, I, and, and mm -hmm. the primary target is, 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 uh, is Europe. And mm -hmm. that can have then uh, uh, you know, significant impact on domestic politics in Europe. If the Europeans take very decisive action, it could have... Uh, other kinds of ramifications as well.